And so I'm standing there. And I hear this guy says, there's a commercial, a commercial for Donald Trump. Now, all of us know, every American knows, all the powers across the globe know that Donald Trump is evil. They know that Donald Trump represents evil. He has not hidden it. Those are the conversations he had with those dictators when he went abroad and nobody went with him. He was letting them know that he was one of them. And really, he, if he is not more evil than they are, he plans to be. And now we here in America know that this man is evil. And now we also know that those people that are following him loves him because they are as evil. Well, they are not as evil as he is, but they are evil enough to love him. And they do evil stuff. We saw Joe Biden's bus traveling somewhere across the country. And you got these militias, these guys that's with Trump. Intimidating. Writing, you saw the story, you saw the news uh, release. And this is what they, these are what bullies do. These are the guys. And this commercial said, no matter what you think about Trump, in other words, he might be a liar. He might be a deceiver. He might be a molester. But he got our back. So what he's saying, he got our back. Forget you. And, and yeah, just the same thing. Forget you. That's what this, this nation and this world has been running on ever since we've been like it is. Forget you. And there's only one power that cares about you, and that is God. Trump got our back. Always mean some backs got, some backs aren't. Biden got our back. Means some backs got, some backs not. Somebody says God got our backs. Mean all backs are got. The only thing is required that each individual allow the spirit of God to live within them. And they become a physical manifestation of the God that they understand. And they just won't do that. So they'll ride this boat to hell. I remember back in the 80s, I was chosen and selected to go throughout the country, share some information, and uh, do some certain things, and observe, keep records, and I would find out that the people are evidenced by what I would do on the path to hell, especially the Christians. And I did what I was supposed to do. I kept the records. I came back, and I have the documentation. Yes, they are. America is on the path to hell. I ran for public office because I wanted you to not go that low. Every time I got a chance, the power of love. Now, it's not it's the power of God wanting to save you from what you're running into. But uh, you weren't ready for it, and... God knows that's why he kept me out here doing it. That's why I'm still alive. But through the years, through the years, 20, 30, but the last 20 years, we find ourselves now with the evil so obvious, nobody can deny it. Nobody can deny it. And even today, even today, man, Polls indicate that it's a dead heat with the most evil that America, we as Americans living today, this is the most evil in government that we have ever witnessed. Now, the other is evil too. It's just not as evil as Trump. And the people have got a dead heat about their choice of evil that they want to go forward with. And even today, the day before the election, I tell you that there is another choice. It is a choice that is not like Trump, where the guys would say he got our back. Or what Biden people would, people would say about Biden, he got our back. But God got all of our backs. All of our backs. Just like these guys are willing to be, to give themselves to Donald Trump and ride around with guns and act evil just like they're willing to do that and the people on the other side are not willing to go that far but we'll protest we'll do uh, 
And then get destructive sometimes because peaceful don't work. But it's all because the people want the same things. And they don't know how to get the same things because they've been lied to. And yet, ladies and gentlemen, God wants you to know that every dream that you have that is of love is yours. you got to turn to God, though. Why? Because you are an instrument of God. God made you to serve God. To live as though you are in heaven, not to struggle, not to be boss this way one day and the law changes and boss this way another day. No. God made you to be an instrument of creation, not just his creation, but for you to create as you have done, but outside of the elements of love. <clears throat> yes, it has been love that brought this to your imagination that allowed you to do what you do. But the evil influence is taking control over everything you do. And what Trump is trying to do now is to take even more than that. What the Republican Party have given in to is that it is fine as long as they got the power. That's nothing but you know what that is, ladies and gentlemen. God says your needs, your wants, and your desires are to be met. Your needs, your wants, and your desires are to be met. No any candidate that told you that would be lying, you know that. So they won't even go that far. Well, maybe Trump will. Anyway, that basically means that the things for survival that are essential, that every last one of you have that are common, like food, clothing, shelter, education, and health care, these, these rank, among, rank amongst outside of, you know, breathing and blood and stuff like that. Outside, <clears throat> these rank above some of the number one concerns for survival. And every American is to be guaranteed these. Every human being on the face of the earth is to be guaranteed these according to the creation plan. Now, how is that to be done? Well, we just indicated that every human being would benefit from this. So every human being plays a part in the process of making sure that these things exist in such an abundance that no one would be denied. And so in that process, the Heavenly Father, the power that made us, gave each of us a gift, a desire, something that we would love to engage ourselves in, to put our hands to. And everything that each of us can put our hands to, whatever it is, is connected, interconnected with one another. And as it works together according to the spirit of love, it brings back all of the stuff, all of that which we want need or desire and it comes with peace and prosperity and freedom and joy of life and the fulfillment of our dreams without ever having to lie to cheat to steal to kill to deal with racism hatred and bigotry and money and banks and cons you never have to deal with any of that you can live like heaven on earth now this is the choice that i stand before you today 24 hours before, maybe, I don't know, a few hours before the uh, <clears throat> campaign is over, you got Trump, the most evil individual in government I have ever seen in my 70 years. Now, it might be, but I mean, I, I'm talking about what I saw, what I witnessed. And I'm not excited about the Democrats. Like Trump said, I take him at his word. It is because of the past Republicans and Democrats that allowed Trump to come into office. So I'm not excited about going back there to see if we can create just a little different Trump. No. I'm concerned about freedom. God is concerned about freedom because love is freedom. And this choice is being made to you at this date, even though you have already voted. You didn't know then, but you've heard. Spend some time on it. Do what you must. And if you happen to come to that decision, that it is better to change. Because this, what we know today, is going out. This is the end of this stuff. Even if Donald Trump becomes president, again. It just means that all of this stuff is going to end faster. The world as we know it will end faster. With, with uh, Biden, it might be a little slower, but with Trump, it would just end faster. <clears throat> 
And I'm not just talking about, you know, the United States. I'm talking about a great portion of the world. We got hurricanes. We got fires that you can't even put them, can't put out. Look like fires that look like they burning when the snow is falling. You got the hurricanes that's tearing down the cities and people are being displaced. All kinds of things are happening. All while we're walking around here trying to hate each other. Or we'll walk around here talking about we are better than they. While we're walking around here having our police kill people. While we're walking around here having people suffer in pain, can't get health care. All of these stupid things that we're doing, these fires, these earthquakes, these volcanoes, they are still doing their thing. Nature is doing their thing, and we are not aware. We are not awake to see and to know and operate. We're just... And it's all happening. And in the midst of all of that, I still stand here before you and tell you that the God of your creation only requires that you allow the spirit of God that you can't see, not a government, not a law, but the spirit of the power that you can't see, but is responsible for all existence. Allow that spirit to live in you. That spirit made you. Yeah, you use your parents to bring you here, but that spirit, it is because of that spirit that you are here. Allow that spirit to live in you. Uh, listen to that spirit. <clears throat> listen to that spirit. Do what that spirit says do. Make sure, though, that it is the spirit of the love of God. The spirit of the love of God is different than all that you know. The spirit of the, of the love of God is concerned about every human being on earth, every human being. And that is to say that that which I just mentioned to you, that you have accepted for yourselves, is accepted by you for everybody else. And you are protector of that by the spirit of love, that that spirit that's living in you, and I'm talking about Eight billion of you allows the love of God to come through your hands to the human race. Now, you got three choices. Even when you get Trump or Biden, that's nothing compared to what I just shared with you. And so I'm asking that you consider, you can't do it if you can't. You, you can't do it. You can't be good if you're not good. Your goodness will just fizzle out in a minute. You got to want to be good. And if you want to be good, you'll find a way to be good. You can't play with it, but you got to want it. You want to be good, you'll find a way to be good. Because good is just right there waiting for you. You just got to be in tune. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so very much for giving me this opportunity. This morning, I just heard this guy say something about Trump got our back. And that's what's wrong with the world. Somebody else got your back. There's no one supposed to have your back but your creator. God should have your back. Give your back back to God. Give your back back to God so you can live. What can Trump going to do with your back but use you? Not to do good. Not to do love. But they intimidate, get in convoys and go down the streets and, 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 and intimidate people. Use the military, use the, the Supreme Court, use the Justice Department in its entirety to Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen.